Hi, this is Blake with LawnEQ.com. Today I'm going to show you how to do a starter repair on an SRM 2100. Now remove the starter. This one, the rope's hanging out, so more than likely the spring's broke. From just use or from somebody putting too much spring tension on it by overwinding the rope. And as long as this rope is, I'm going to say they wound the rope too tight. Get that apart. Looks like we might have fixed it right there. Get that apart and see what it is. We know there's a lot of spring tension on there. Check this out. Basically, I'm unwinding the spring. That way, it doesn't fly apart on you when you take it apart. And I'm looking here to see what all is wrong. One of the main things you need to look for in this. A lot of people pull on this and they'll crack that center post. And then you'll have to replace the starter if that's the case. This one appears to be good. But the starter is probably worn enough or this pulley is worn enough to where it's rubbing. Somebody has over greased this. I'm going to take this apart, take it out to the cleaner, and clean this starter housing on and get all the grease and dirt and debris out of it. Put it back together and see what happens. We'll see you soon. All right, so I've got the starter housing cleaned out and the starter spring cleaned, and we're going to start putting this back together to see what happens. Um, for instance, if this starter spring was bent or broke, you just need to go to Lawn EQ, look up your parts. I like to be number 10 here, and I brought a spring here just in case. But uh, we'll go ahead and put this back together. This is a tricky part here, winding this thing up. I actually have a tool to do this, but found it's easier to do it by hand. Get that to where it's about the size that you need. Sometimes you gotta figure out which way this spring goes if you put it in this way or if it goes in upside down there. But on the Echoes it's got a slot you can see that or not but right in there it can only go one direction and that sits down in that groove and hold it down to the bottom and then let it slowly rewind now these starter housings again are supposed to be clean they're not supposed to be greasy and dirty all they do is collect dirt and want to bind up and that's what we're hoping the problem is today we'll take this Line that up. Should make a little hole. I'm just gonna set that down and you'll feel it kind of snap in. Sometimes you have to go backwards. There you go, and you feel it snap down in there. That center post should put a flat area down the bottom and it should be flush and actually just a little bit above the top of that pulley. Just need to get it tight, don't need to crank down on it. I mean, that looks like that took care of the problem. We'll go ahead, right here, and tie a loop knot. So 
it will recoil. We'll have time to put our spring back on, or our strutter handle back on. I did go ahead and shorten this rope about six inches. I do want it as a figure eight knot, just a fatter knot. Just go around it like this and then twist it one time and go back through. This makes the knot a little fatter so it doesn't want to pull through the handle. Get in there and pull on it, make sure it's not going to go anywhere. You can just pull that out. You can see it's a little bit loose. Right here in this pulley, there's a little notch. I'm going to shred this rope out, put it in that notch, and wrap it one more time to get a little more tension. And pull it out. And you want it to where it just pulls in. Otherwise, like I say, when you pull to the end of this, you should be able to see that you're kind of pulling to the end of the rope. If you get it too tight, you'll pull to the end of the spring and you put too much uh, pressure on that spring and it'll end up breaking it. That looks like that pretty much solved the problem. So we'll go ahead and mount this back on there. I could probably go one more round. It's kind of hanging there, looking sad. There, she's tight. Like I said, make sure that you pull to the end of the rope. Power tools are nice, but you want to make sure you, you kind of manually tighten them down. Because you can strip these out really easily. like that fix our problem. If you ever have any questions, come see us at lawnyq.com. Thanks.